So out of all of my years of owning iPhones, there's really only been one iPhone that I've looked at that I just can't believe how underrated this iPhone is year after year after year. Ever since this iPhone came out, I really haven't had too many people ever, even in videos that I've seen of other people, they don't really recommend this iPhone as much as I think they probably should. And that's not to say that they're recommending bad iPhones or I'm recommending bad iPhones, but I truly do think that the iPhone 11 Pro is probably one of the best iPhones I've ever owned and I could ever recommend to anybody buying for the next probably like three years still. Now this iPhone is a 2019 flagship of an iPhone and I do think even though it was a flagship, it was a thousand dollar phone, this thing when it first came out was ahead of its time. I mean, even when this iPhone compared to the iPhone 14 Pro, when I'm looking at both side by side, there are clear differences but there are so many similarities as well. And it's insane that this thing was I mean, kind of one of the last 5.8 inch, you know, AMOLED iPhones for the most part, or OLED iPhones. But it was a beautiful iPhone that I loved so much. And that in and of itself is one of my favorite things that Apple has done. Design wise, this thing looks beautiful. It has great build quality. It has great features in that, you know, standpoint. And that is by far one of my most favorite things going on with this device. So that in and of itself is one of the most important things I would kind of throw in right there. If you're trying to go ahead and buy some sort of iPhone, design wise, it really doesn't get that much better than this, which is, you know, what I'm being completely honest with. Now, I also think that in terms of the, you know, internals, in terms of the, you know, how fast this phone is and everything in that direction. I mean, with that Apple A13 Bionic chip, with the four gigabytes of RAM that this thing has, I mean, that is a very good, powerful you know, phone still. And when I was doing speed comparisons between the iPhone 11 Pro and with the iPhone 14 Pro, I was, I mean, it was pretty interesting to see how much overlap there was. Like it was a very interesting experience. I also think that with a phone like the iPhone 11 Pro, this device is not going to be outdated anytime soon. Like this phone is going to be supported for so many years. And even though it started in 2019, it's only going to be around for a couple more years after this. You know, I, I think it's probably not going to end off until like 2025 at the earliest, but most probably like 2026. So just imagine that if you spend a couple hundred dollars, maybe like $300 now, you're going to be getting a good phone that's going to be supported for a long, long time for many, many years from now. So that's another big asset for this phone. I think the camera quality of this phone is still top tier. I don't really think it gets like a crazy amount better than this. Like, of course it can get better than this for sure, but I do think Apple knocked it out of the park with this phone. And this is another big, massive thumbs up in my direction as well to this device. So in terms of that, that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, Sullivan.